Joe from The Budget Mom. Come along with me as I strive to live a life I love on a budget that I can afford. With the budget by paycheck method, I get a lot of questions. How is my system different from Dave Ramsey's? Why are more and more people finding success with my method? And you know, they've been using his method for years. I don't th think it necessarily has to do with the method methods. What method works, what doesn't. It has to do with the person because different budgeting methods work for different people. A lot of people have found true success with Dave Ramsey. Some people haven't being on the baby steps and that's okay. It doesn't mean that you fail. It doesn't mean one's right over the other. It just means that everyone is different. And so the way that my system is a little bit different is there are, I get asked a lot if I follow the baby steps. I don't to a T and I never will. The system didn't work for me because I am a true believer that no one should be constrained to doing certain steps in a certain way regardless of what's going on around them or how they truly feel. It has to come back with those psychological reasons. And so with my method, I truly try to give you the option to make it 100% workable in your real life. That's the importance of budgeting, making it realistic to what's truly going on in your world because if it's not, it's not going to work for you. Another thing that's really different with me is the way that I budget my income and how I handle and pay my bills. I budget my money every single time I am paid. And so that's a little bit different. Another thing, my system is completely visual. My, it's a visual system because I'm a visual learner and that's what really helped me and my family. It's also a manual method. I don't believe in using electronic software or apps for your personal finances because I truly don't think you get the same psychological benefits of writing things down. It's truly, truly different. Um, I call when you're using apps and you're just typing in numbers and you're letting a program or computer doing it f do the work for you, I call that robot work. It's literally you're just plugging in numbers. Sometimes your brain doesn't even register the numbers that you're just typing onto a keyboard. When you write it down, when you take the time to actually do the work, man, you discover some major aha moments, but not only that, you start to find the joy in what you're doing and with your finances. All of a sudden, budgeting doesn't seem like a chore. It actually becomes fun because you're understanding those psychological benefits behind what you're doing and it really does change your mindset when you're budgeting. So that's how my system is a little bit different. I wanted to address a question today, and in fact, it's a it's a problem that I had to address a couple years ago and, and in the beginning of my budgeting journey. What happens when, say, your rent payment cannot be covered with one paycheck? It's a big thing. How do you show that on your calendar and your budget? How do you show this in your budget when a bill is being paid by multiple paychecks? Like I said, the great thing about my budget is you can literally customize it to however it works with your income and your lifestyle and your situation. So I'm gonna be showing you how I addressed it when back in the day when I started budgeting, I couldn't afford my rent with just one paycheck. I had to use multiple paychecks to pay that huge expense. So I was left with a little bit of leftover money for each paycheck. Because what happens with the paycheck method is the way that you wanna pay your bills with your paychecks is you wanna make sure that your complete paycheck isn't used just by your variable expenses and your bills. You wanna pay your bills in a way where it gives you a little bit of extra income for each paycheck to throw at debt or savings. Now, if you're still in the place where all, all your paycheck does is cover your bills and your cash envelopes, that's fine. Because once you start tracking your spending, you'll start to see areas where you can cut back. I promise you, manually tracking your spending, highlighting your categories is a major pivotal step in my budgeting system. And I get a lot of questions. How, how, do I, how do I pay more towards my, bet, my debt when my income is only covering my bills? You find ways to cut your spending, and that's gonna be done by figuring out and being aware of where every dollar is going. So let me show you what it looks like when you have to pay a big bill like rent with multiple paychecks. I try sharing my story to remind readers that there is a way out. 
that with hard work, dedication, determination, motivation, it's all about having a plan for your money. And that's what gives you the true control. Holy crap, it just changed my life. And they're like, oh man, Nico, it takes time, it takes dedication, it takes work. No more credit card debt. So in this example, I am using, now this is just purely example because my real situation is different from what I'm showing, but so this is an example. And this is another reason why I believe in the highlighter method and how it can help you organize your life. So in this example, we're talking about someone who gets paid weekly. Okay, they're gonna get paid every Friday of the week. Now, the paycheck amount is just for example. These are just fictional numbers that I made up to show the example. So here's what it looks like on your calendar when you are using multiple paychecks to pay one bill, and in this example, that bill is rent. Okay, so each paycheck I gave a different color. And the way that my system works on your calendar is, if there, for instance, there will obviously be other bills on this calendar. For this example, Everything, all the bills that were paid with this first paycheck on Friday would be highlighted in pink. All the bills related to this paycheck on the 11th would be highlighted in purple and so on. And you would do that for each one of your paychecks. What it looks like, so these bills, or excuse me, these paychecks need to cover your rent on the first. And here's how it looks like. Since e each paycheck has a different color, I can tell myself, okay, so with, let me just bring this over here. So with paycheck on the 4th, I'm going to put $150, set it aside to have it for my rent. Do you see how the colors match? For my paycheck on the 11th, I'm going to set aside $150. For my paycheck on the 18th, because my paycheck amount is a little bit higher, I'm going to put $450 aside for my rent, which is in orange. By using the highlighter method, you know exactly how this bill is being paid, where the money is coming from because of the colors. You know how much money is coming from what paycheck for this specific bill because you have everything listed right here. So that's what I did when I was using multiple paychecks to pay for, say, my bigger bill like rent. And then, of course, you would obviously have other bills, but I just wanted to give the example of the rent. Now, how this would look on your paycheck bill tracker is, so for instance, with your paycheck on the 4th, January 4th, here's our example. Here's our paycheck on January 4th. Our budgeted income is $300, and you would write down in your bills, how much you're setting aside for rent. So you know that that money already has a plan and you don't spend it. It's still considered a regu regular bill even though you're not planning to pay the full amount. You're telling yourself on your budget, rent, $150. You can set that aside into a cash envelope so you have the full amount on the last day of the month. So on the 25th, when you get paid, you will have the full amount to pay your rent on the first, which is $1,200. But with each paycheck bill tracker, you need to write down how much you're setting aside for that bill so it's not spent somewhere else. Like I said, you can hold this money into a cash envelope throughout the month. You can put it aside into a separate savings account. When I did it, I just left it in my checking account because I knew with my checking account, I, it only is for bills. I knew exactly what the money was in there for and I knew not to spend it. But if you need a little more discipline or if you need a little bit more help staying organized so you know exactly what the purpose is, set it aside into a cash envelope. When you go down to the bank to pull out cash for your other envelopes on the 25th, deposit it into your account and pay your rent. Write a check for your rent. So that's how I am using the system. This is why the highlighter method is so powerful. It's a visual way of seeing where your money is going. If you have any questions, head over to my private Facebook group, TBM Family, and I'll answer questions over there.
If you found this video helpful, please share it and don't forget to subscribe.